Good day everyone, you're welcome back to this channel. Now in today's video, I'll, I'll be showing you how to cut a female singlet. Some call it on this or some call it underwear, all the same. So, and I know that every female needs this. Of course, yes. Even if you're a male, you still need it. You still need it for your younger ones that are females. So, we are going to start right now. Now, is um, this fabric is unfold as you can see it here there is no joining at this part so it's unfold now i'm going to quickly um measure what i have as the width of this same uh, fabric i have the width here to be 20 inches and i have the length to be the length here because i'm going to come up by four inches so you can see me the tape rule is upwards so coming up by because so coming up by four inches sorry so i have the total length to be 21 inches but i've added some like an inch to it for my hem allowance so that is why i have, I have i'm having almost 22 inches at the base here so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to refold it again Can you see so it means i will be having four pieces one two three and four so i'm going to turn it like this so we can start now is an off shoulder so that is why i'm leaving like four inches exactly four inches upwards so it's from here I measure and that was why I did it the other time so the length is okay by me so the next thing I'm going to do right now is to start with the the neckline so I will be making use of a uh, four inches this is my center um both for my center front and center back so that is why I'm starting from here so I will be marking four inches right here four inches from the center i mark four inches in width i hope you can see this so and from that point i'm going to determine i'm going to measure the ammo the ammo length and in measuring the ammo length i will have to come up by four can you see I've come up because I have to include this. So I come up by four, then I mark eight inches or seven and a half inches here. Let me mark eight inches. Eight inches. So from here, I'm going to connect this to the neckline using my ruler so i connect I, I i hope you can see this chalk or maybe i should use a colored one so that you can see it very clearly so. excuse me let me use colored chalk so, as you can see right here, I've marked the hammer on uh, length. So, I'm going to go ahead right now and consider the bust. The bust for this is 34, 34 inches. So, 34 inches divided by 4 gives me 8.5 inches, that is 8.5. So, I'm going to mark 8.5 and I have it here. So, plus half an inch for my seam allowance so i have the total of nine inches on the bust line can you see so right now i'm going to connect this to this can you see so the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go straight to 
uh, the waist. What I'm going to do is just to place my measuring tape right here. So right on the bust line. And I measure from the bust line to the base. I measure to the base, leaving the hem allowance and uh, uh, hem allowance of about one inch. So I'm going to measure. So I have I have in um, let me say 12 and a half inches from that point. So I will look for the midpoint of 12 and a half inches. For easy way, you just fold your tape row into two equal parts, placing it on that 12 and a half. Can you see? Now you press your hand on the edge here to give you a crease line. So it means I have like a six one quarter of an inch. So I'm going to mark it from the boss line six one quarter. So that is my waist line. So on the waist line, what I'm going to do right here, you know, on the on the boss line, I have a the total of nine inches. I just I will just come to the waist line nine inches i'm going to reduce now that nine inches by one so i have eight so then i come to the base i measure my nine inches which i have on the bust line because it's meant to be a bit shape so the next thing right now is to connect this line using my hip cord So you could use your free hand too, but for beginner, if you don't, if you don't find it very easy, so I will advise you, you use your, your core. So that it will be, so that you find it very easy. Sorry. So now I've connected the lines together. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go back to the arm move and create my curve right there. And in creating the curve right there, I'm going to come in by two inches, by two inches. So it is from here I place my curve to create uh, my French curve to create my curve. So it, the curve has been created as you can see right here. So sorry for this thing. Chop. It's just because of the fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to the neckline. Remember, we have not done with the depth. So the depth of the neckline, I will be making use of just one inch. One inch for the depth. Remember, we are cutting both the back and the front uh, piece. So the next thing is just to, to create a curve up here on the neckline using my French curve. And your free hand is also permitted if you are an expert in that realm. So there is no crime in that. So the curve has been created on, on the neckline. So the next thing is just for me to cut. So I'm going to trace all the line while I cut. So I do the cutting while I trace the line. Now, as you can see right here, I've cut it out, tracing the line. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to cut the strap, which I'm going to use to tape uh, the shoulder 
I mean the ammo um, which I'm going to use to take the ammo and also the neckline so now I've cut the strap here is it so this is for the neckline you're going to measure what you have on the neckline you use your measuring tape to measure that will give you what length to cut see I have almost like five so you you multiply by two that is ten so and I have it right here and for the width the width 1.5 inches is okay so that's for the width and that is that so after this the next thing right now is to go to the machine and seal can you see how the shape looks like so the first thing i'm going to do right here is to place it right there side right side to right side this is the right side i will place it right side to right side like this so even before i i work on the seam line the i'm going to use that tape to tape the neckline first i will use that tape to tape the neckline so the the to so be easy for me what I'm going to do is just to to um to fold it like this and refold it on the other tip. Use my iron to iron it neatly so that it will relax very well. After that, then I use the mid part. I will just insert the the tip of the neckline like this. I will insert after ironing because it, that by then it will have relaxed very well so i'm going to place it like this now i fold it like this can you see so i can now tape it at the edge at the, the down part round so it will give me a neat look you can see so that is what i'm going to do and that is also what after i've done that then the next thing for me is to to place it right side to right side like this that is after i would have con after i might have concluded the the neckline after i have finished sewing the neckline taping it i will now go to the same line and stitch it run stitch across this same, same line also on this other side here after that then i will now work on the ammo line all right so far so good here is the product of this same tutorial can you see can you see how neat and beautiful this um, singlet is see how neat it is so i hope you have gained a lot i hope this you have found this tutorial very very helpful here is so it's either you use this side or you use this side because it was being cut together so i really want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this uh, video thank you very very much so if you have any question as regards this uh, tutorial, kindly drop your question in the comment section. And uh, I also expect what you feel consigning this uh, tutorial. Thank you very much. So till I come your way again, if you are here to subscribe this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button below and you hit on the notification bell so that you can have access to my videos. Thank you. So till I come your way again, bye for now.